Are you using hoops and row covers in your garden? They come in so many different sizes and styles and shapes. There's no reason not to use them. They are great for protecting your garden in so many ways. We use them mainly to protect our garden and our tender plants from frost, but you can also use them to protect your plants from bugs and from heat. They're an awesome way to keep your garden growing and I can't wait to show you how we set ours up. Welcome back to the farmhouse. I'm Deanne from Hummingbird Acres and this is our place to inspire you guys to live the homestead farmhouse lifestyle and it is also a way for us to give you guys a little sneak peek into our everyday lives. If you haven't done so already, please make sure that you hit subscribe and that notification bell to be notified anytime I upload a new video about homesteading, gardening, and farmhouse life. Let's jump right in to how we set up our row covers to protect our plants for frost. Before we jump into setting up our row covers, let's talk a little bit about the purpose of row covers and a couple important things about them. The purpose of a row cover is to protect your plants from undesirable, unwanted elements. In our case, we are protecting our plants from frost. Some row covers are designed to protect plants from pests. Some row covers are designed to protect plants from extreme cold. And there are even some row covers that are designed to protect plants from extreme heat. All right, let's talk about how row covers are set up. So normally row covers are set up with a hoop and then they have a blanket or a, it's a material basically. And the type of material you're gonna use is based off of the purpose of your row cover. So you have your hoop and then you have your blanket that is over top of your hoops and your hoops are over top of your garden. And then you anchor the blanket down with clips and weights to make sure it doesn't blow away. A lot of gardeners shy away from row covers and hoops because they're too much work or they don't really know how to use them. So I'm interested, are you using row covers in your garden? And if so, what are you covering or trying to protect? And if you're not using them, are you thinking about it? And what is stopping you from using them? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to encourage you guys to use them because they make a world of a difference in a garden. We are gonna be setting up hoops and frost cover on this raised bed on our patio. So in the early spring, I planted poppies in this bed and they really just, I had a few and they did okay, but they didn't really take off. So kind of just forgot about them until the other day when I came out here and I was cleaning stuff up and I found one. So poppies are uh, hardy, tender, hardy annuals. So they do like a cold period and they will grow and then you can overwinter them. So I hate seeing a plant die. So I decided we are quickly going to set up some row covers on this bed to protect the one poppy plant that I have growing. Frost cloth is an amazing tool to use to create a microclimate for your plants. It can protect plants that are underneath of it in degrees as low as 20 degrees, and it meaning it can also protect them against frost. Frost cloth comes in so many different sizes and so many different shapes. We are using this stuff from Ag Fabric. I got it off of Amazon. I will link it below for you. And frost cloth is also rated based on what you need it for. So if you are farther north than us, we are in 7A. If you are in farther north, you might want a frost cloth that's rated for a little colder climate. And if you are in some uh, zone that is lower than us, you, or higher than us, I should say, then you're gonna want something that's maybe not as strong as this. So do a little research to figure out what thickness of frost cloth, or it's also called a fleece blanket for your garden. Do a little bit of research to see what's going to be best for your garden, but I will link what we are using in the comments below for you. All right, a couple more things. So frost blankets and frost cloth are meant to protect the plants that are underneath of them. So just like I said, we have a poppy plant growing here and I wanna protect it from the frost and from the wind because it is getting really windy here. So they are intended to protect your plants and that's their job and they do a really good job at it. So we are gonna set up ours. Um, like I said, I have my frost cloth and we had 
intended on building hoops. That's what we have for our other garden beds, but we just kind of ran out of time. And with Thanksgiving and Christmas, it just, we ran out of time. So I purchased these hoops from Amazon. They came really quickly, which was awesome because I need to get this done. And they come in two different sizes. So I'm gonna link that below for you too. And yeah, we are gonna set this up. So I'm gonna put it on time-lapse so you can see how I set it up and we will chat when we're done. So a couple other things I want to mention about the frost cloth before I finish up putting the clips on this so it doesn't blow away. So the frost cloth came pretty folded up which made it really easy to unfold part of it and cut just the size that I needed. Now it is also, let's see if I can get it, it is pretty see-through. So your sun is still going to get through it, your plant is still going to get the sunlight it needs and water and snow can also penetrate this as well. So it's still going to get the sun and water that it needs to grow. Um, as you can see, it was really big, so I did have to cut it, which is great. And yeah, I better, <laughs> I better anchor it down before it blows away. So there we have it, super easy to put up. Um, the hoops I did order came with six. This is a pretty short bed, so I only put three, which should protect it and hold up the fabric very well, fairly well, and they were super easy. They fit the bed perfectly. I just pushed them right down, made it so simple, put the cloth over it and got it all secure down. So now our little poppy plant is all protected for the winter and frost. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and make sure that you hit subscribe and the notification bell to be notified anytime that I upload a new video about homesteading, gardening, and farmhouse life. Thank you guys so much for visiting the farmhouse today and we'll talk to you soon.